Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about HTML tables. HTML tables are the closest rep the closest um, representation of like an HTML content to a database that we've been talking about so far. So the HTML tables they're created using the table element. Within the table elements, you need to write out each row so the first row is going to contain the titles so you're going to say tr for table row within the table row you're going to have table heading so because the first row contains headings you're going to say th table heading so i'm going to name i'm going to say name uh, this is going i'm not going to provide space there so i'm just going to say th because there is just one content i could just provide it on the same line so the first one is name, the second heading is going to be job, and then I'm going to say H. So this is the first table row, and uh, uh, when, when we are done with this element, we are going to go out of this element. So this is the closing tag. I'm going to, on this side of the closing tag, I'm just going to hit enter, and now you can see we are basically out of this element. So in here, I'm going to create another table row. This time, we're going to create table data. So what is the first data? We know what the first column is name. So the, uh, the first row is name. So we need to provide name. I'm going to say Bob. So the next one is going to be job. I'm going to say developer. Uh, developer. And what is the age? Let's just say like 29. And then, so this is the first record, uh, if we are like thinking about SQL as well. So this is the first record that you enter into this uh, table. The reason that I'm using these terminologies is because I want you to understand better. Uh, then I'm going to create another record. I'm going to say table data. I'm going to say John. I'm going to say driver. And I'm going to say uh, 31. Let's just say, let's save that. So I know you, you're like saying, okay, this doesn't look like a table, but it is actually a table. If you were to style this using CSS, then it would look like a table. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.